What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm going to do a cheat engine video with Minecraft version 1.8.3. Minecraft is notoriously difficult to utilize cheat engine with because it uh, runs in Java and Java has a way of taking values and making them jump all over the place constantly in the middle of your game and whatever else. So I'm going to get in depth with this tutorial and show you how you can at least give yourself uh, infinite of an item and then you know after that I can explain ways uh, to show you how to change an item to a different type of item. So uh, with that said we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new world. Alright, <clears throat> we're gonna call this Sneaky Mofo YouTube uh, Minecraft. And then I'll actually use that for my C too. Sneaky Mofo YouTube Minecraft. Alright, generate structures on. I like to do the bonus chest and turn on cheats. Uh, let's go with large biomes. And there we go, we're done. And uh, actually, you know what? More world options. Let's keep cheats off. Create new world. Building terrain. Building terrain. All right. Downloading terrain. Here it comes. Here comes the world. All right. So here we are. We're in our world here. And the first thing that you want to do is uh, get a bunch of an item. All right, so get like 20 dirt or something like that. All right. All right. And the reason that you want to do this is it gives you plenty of items to work with of the one item. Also, because it's in Java. Um, the container that you see that everything is in, the 13 right now, if we take this 13 dirt and we move it to a different container or a different slot in the, uh, the hot bar there, um, the memory address that we're looking for is going to be destroyed and a completely new one is going to be created. All right. So first of all, don't hit escape because that seems to modify things quite a bit as well. What you want to do is hit E or whatever you have to go into your inventory screen. And now what you want to do, we're going to attach Cheat Engine, click Window List right here, and look for the window that says Minecraft 1.8.3 or whichever you're using. All right. And now that we are attached, we are going to do a, let's say two bytes, and we will do a first scan for 18. Alright, now don't left click on this, which will take all 18 out, because if you do that, you're going to destroy the memory address that this is currently in. Alright, so right click on it to take half of it and put that here. And then search for a value of 9. Okay, now take this and put it back there and search for 18, or you know. I'm searching for 18 and 9 because these are the numbers that I have here with this. If you didn't get that much dirt, just search for the numbers that you're getting, okay? Alright, so now we have 18 there. Let's take half again. Alright, both changed, which means one of these is the number in memory. The other one is the number that you actually see on the screen. Alright, so to find out which one is the right one, you can double click one of these. And here's the value, double click on the value, change that to 50. All right, so now it says we have 50. Now right click for half of it, and if you get half of whatever number you have now, then you that was the right value we changed. All right, that was the right value. So there we go, we've duplicated dirt, and that's it, we found dirt. So now if you want to you can take these items all right we've got flowers I'm gonna try these see if this will work okay hit E 
remember don't hit escape because that will uh, it doesn't always ruin things but Java's really fickle with this game so we'll do a new scan we're looking for an exact value of five or however many of whatever item you have there you'll look for that number of that item then right click put it up here so now we're gonna search for two all right now we're gonna put these back here and we're gonna look for five and then just keep doing this process two put them back Okay, it's going to be one of these two. Let's try the top one here. Double click here, which brings it down. All right, and let's change this to 50. Now right click here. Yep, and you got half of 50. So there you go. So that's how you can duplicate items using Cheat Engine. And it's very important to remember not to do this, because now when we put it back, let's try to change this 50. See how this is zero now, all right? This container refreshed. It's a completely different value in memory now. See, this is the memory address it was in. Let's search for this 50 here. New scan of 50. We're going to take half of that. Search for 25. All right, one of these is it. Probably this one here, because it's been the top one consistently between the two that we found. See how this is a different memory address? Okay, let's change this to 30. There we go. See how it changed to 30? Let's take half of that. We should see 15. All right. Or I'm sorry, 12. <laughs> um, let's see. Actually, no, that wasn't the right one. Yeah. It's this one here. Delete. We should have seen 15, but we saw 12, which was the previous number that we had there. So now we change this one to 30. Now we should see 15. There we go. Okay, so it wasn't the top value that time, it was the bottom value. And now we can add that back for 55. Okay, and so now what you can do is if you have an item, all right, let's say you find a, a diamond or whatever, and as long as you have, you know that this memory address right now is working. Okay, and you have this value here that you can you see is modifying correctly with you. What you can do is click on uh, memory view, okay, and then you click tools, and then you select dissect data slash structures, all right. And now what you're going to do is right here, you're going to put this address. Okay, so hang on. First, I'm going to delete this one because we know this is no good any longer. We have no reason for that. Okay, you can right, or I'm sorry, double click here and you can change that to dirt because we know that's dirt. Let's go ahead and verify by halving it. All right, so there's half of that, 25, good to go. Okay, so that's dirt still. Now, the thing is, after you do this, when you close the game out and reopen it, these values aren't going to be the same in these memory addresses. You'll have to do this all over again. Okay. Um, so this was, uh, what are these called? Dandelions. Dandelion. Okay, so now what we're doing here is we're saying, all right, we want to change this dirt into dandelions. How do we do that? Okay, so you do what I just showed you. You click memory view, then you go to tools and bring up this dissect uh, structures. Okay. And now we're going to take this memory address, double click it, and then you'll copy this. Okay, click cancel here. And now you will paste it here. And then you click structures, define new structure. And you can just say OK, and then say yes, and then say OK. And right here, all right, this is our number of dandelions. And then if you go one, two, three, four, this code right here, this is your item code. So we can change dirt to a dandelion using this code for the dandelion. And you might be saying, well, how do you do that? Okay, just extend this out. And right here, you 
just click right up in this gray area and then you hit Control A, which will add a column. And then you take this one, the address for dirt, you double click here, you'll copy that, all right, and then you paste it here. And now what we're looking at is this is the column for our dandelions, this is the column for our dirt. This is our item number for each of these things. Okay? So now what we can do is copy dirt. And let's just do this just so I can keep note here in the description. We'll say this was uh, C D C uh, dirt. C C Z dirt. Yep, okay. So this is just for my own my own purposes here to keep note of what this is, okay? And so now we'll copy the dandelion code and then we'll paste it over the dirt code and we'll say okay. See how this changed the dandelions? There we go. So now we changed to another completely different item. Now you can crash Minecraft really hard <laughs> by putting in random values here so you might want to uh, not consider that. But for those of you who are daring, what you can try to do is uh, subtract 3 from this number that's right here. So 8, 7, 6, 5. And let's see if this is an item. Nope. It crashed the game. So let's click play here. We're launching the game again. All right. And this is good because it shows you, oh, I need to resize it properly, because this shows you how, you know, when you mess around with stuff like that, you can screw it up. And once we get restarted here, single player, all right, this one, YouTube Minecraft, we'll open that. All right, we're back in our world. And look, we have 50 dandelions and 55 dandelions. We still have what, what we had. Our changes all uh, kept their change, whatever, stayed in effect. And now everything's different. These values are different. We need to reattach Cheat Engine here. So we go Window List. Here's the Minecraft. We say OK. Now see how these values are just random, okay? So we could say new scan, and really quick, you know the process. Let's go 55, first scan, and half, 27. Add it back, 55. Okay, see how this changed? How that's not coming up now? This isn't coming up? That's because right then, just right around this time frame, Java was messing with stuff and moving memory values around right then. So we might have been onto it, and then it changed right between our first scan and the next. So you got to do is maybe wait a minute, and then right now, let's say new scan, all right? And we'll start with a first scan of 55 again. Now let's put it in half, and 27 now. Now let's put this back on, and see, here we go. We can see these two here now, but just for the sake of it, we'll do that. All right, back to one of these being this value. So let's try the top one here, and we'll change that to 64. Okay, now we should see 32, yep. So now this is dandelion. And we can delete all of these because they are no longer valid. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's how you duplicate items and how you can change from one item to another item. And as you get more and more items, you can identify what those are by doing the same thing that I showed you with the um, dissecting structures. Okay? So. I hope you found this video uh, useful and 
you know, let me know if there's some other kind of Minecraft stuff that you want to see, because I love Minecraft. I've been playing it for years now, just like many of you. <laughs> but um, I'm only just now getting into the cheat engine territory with it, since I've seen that people have had a lot of difficulty uh, hacking it with cheat engine, and I kind of just want to explain why it's so difficult and what's going on, and that was a serious fail boat right there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe. Let me know some other stuff you'd like to see, and uh, I'll just see you guys in the next video. Take care.